Students at two Arkansas schools with a special mission could soon have upgraded facilities. One administrator says that they've seen a need for it for decades. Andrew Epson joining us now live outside of the school for the blind and visually impaired, and they've got some money coming their way. And that's right, Bob, and that money's going to come from the state's restricted reserve fund for the blind and visually impaired and also the school for the deaf. A legislative panel approving that funding this week after both schools sent formal letters requesting that money from the state. In a statement, school for the blind and visually impaired superintendent James Caton says this money will be useful, saying in part the additional funding will allow the school to make critical facilities improvements that will lead to a safer campus, improved educational environments for learning and updated residential facilities. Republican State Senator Jonathan Dismang says these funds have been set aside for a while now and it shows a commitment to Arkansans who need a little help. They feel a very unique need uh, here in the state of Arkansas and it's been a priority for the legislature and for the governor's office for as long as I've been here. And so we just again want to make sure they've got the tools and resources that they need. Caton says some of the buildings on campus date back to the late 1930s, so upgrades obviously much needed. According to those former letter, formal letters, there will also be other infrastructure improvements here on campus, including gates and fencing. Live in Little Rock, Andrew Epperson, back to you, Bob. Andrew.